Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tamriel. Welcome to Adventures of Elliot Rose Battle in Final Fantasy XIV Online. And we're starting off with something called Recommended Duties. This game actually literally... I'm reading, the, I'm reading the chat, they're saying a bunch of poop jokes, sorry, I'm getting distracted by that. Anyway, uh, such a mature free company that I joined, talking about poop jokes and stuff. <laughs> Man, it feels like middle school, where like, poop jokes and sex jokes were a big thing. Nevertheless, um, this game actually comes with the recommended duties, which literally tells you all the recommendations of what you should do right about now. Like it says right here, for their it's it kind of like calculates everything according to how far away it is and how close it is and everything and it's pretty much sets up a, a game plan for your character to like go from point a to point b and actually recommends you different quests to do within the area you can either do all you can do quests hunting logs uh more hunting logs fates level quests yeah level quests yeah a uh, gold saucer which I don't know what a gold saucer is. <laughs> you do roulette, guild, he uh, guild heist, guild heist, guild hests, dungeons, uh, trials, PvP, raid, and raids. And we're just gonna go with all. And I signed out near the town because you guys told me that if I do so, I can actually get some experience buff. It looks like I got my experience bar turned blue, so I'm guessing I got like a rested bonus. So that's good. Let's go ahead and turn in some quests in the area here while we're at it. Let's go ahead and talk to uh, Chichazan. You set those traps up for Fufu Lupa, have you? Excellent! Perhaps we'll see who thaws balls in a knapsack. Are those my legs trapped in the front of the gate? A trader's chocobo could step right in, right into that and lose a foot. I better disarm those things before someone important is horrifically injured. Yes, I know you were just following orders. It's Fufu Lupa, you see. He certainly means well, but disaster follows the man like a behemoth chasing a butterfly. Well then, so we put out the traps for no reason outside the gate. And now Chocobos can actually step in and then, you know, lose a foot maybe. That'd be pretty bad. I mean, look at this. Who'd want who'd want one these one these little guys to get to get uh injured? Look at them. Look at this, so cute. Ah, Chocobos. I never was around like to really get into many Final Fantasy games. Like I said, this is my main really Final Fantasy game ever. So it's kinda cool just to see Chocobo just do its own Chocobo thing. I don't know, they're kind of cute. They're like little birds, they're like little chickens. It's, it's pretty cute. Talk to Zuzu Tiro. I think that's his name. That's four eyes of the serpent. I want uh, slay him and slay as many Pisces, Pisces as it takes to procure them. And actually got all four eyes. There you go. The eyes. My thanks, adventurer. Hmm. What do I mean to do with these things, you ask? Why, well, sell them, of course. They may not look like much at first, but if you dip them in an alchemical concoction that transform into beautiful red gemstones. And these gemstones happen to fetch a handsome price in Gridania. Pisces aren't found in Black Shroud, you see. As a merchant, it's my job to know such things. Well, that is wonderful. I hope you make a lot of profit, sir. I'm gonna take your gloves gladly, and I'm gonna go ahead and equip them. Where are they at? There we go, we got these gloves. And they sound new gloves, right? Yeah, I should be wearing the new ones, I think. Am I? Oh, I am. Awesome. Let's go ahead and update the uh, the set list. There we go. Now we got updated the set list for the pugilist. Let's continue on and actually go ahead and get the perfect swarm. What do we got to do with the perfect swarm? Slay, sun, midge, and swarms. Oh, we could probably go ahead and do that. It's going to be very easy. There we go. There's one over here. And user recommendations will also eventually, since we are level 11, we'll go ahead and end up trying to get the, uh, the hunter's log done. Let's go ahead. Do we use a haymaker? Oh, I guess we already did. Never mind, I'm just gonna go on with the regular rotation. Let me turn up the audio a little bit so I can hear myself. There we go, it's nice and loud now. We got another one, a Sun Midge, a sun midge Swarm. This one is not hostile, so you're gonna have to really get close to it to actually like, get it to, you know, attack us and actually fight us. Which, I mean, I guess it's a good thing. So I'm thinking of maybe getting Elliot a, uh, a job. Not like a like, job that makes money, but I mean like a cross between two professions, such as uh, Pugilist, and I believe the other one is either Lancer or Marauder. The w and here's the here's thing, in this game, the most amazing thing ever, I actually absolutely love this feature, you, if you combine two classes together, like let's say you level a, I'm currently leveling on my other character, an Archer up to level 30, and I'm gonna have um, a Pugilist up to level 15, and then Lancer leveled up a little bit. 
what I can do with my archer that has uh, pugilist and lancer as other professions, level to a certain point, I, what I can do is actually get the archer to become a bard by selecting the uh, the quest for that specific job. I'm trying to get up here. I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to get up. I'm just trying to mountain climb here. There we go. <laughs> that did it. Let's get the sun midge and actually get out of, away from the hostiles before they see us or look in our direction. Come on, midge. Come on, midge swarm. Let's go. There you go, buddy. There you go. I want to stay away from these guys. As long as they look away in different directions, I think I should be all right. Looks like they're not interested. Looks like they're just kind of letting me battle out and letting me duke it out. And I'm going to say thank you to that. Now let's get out of here. I think we are... We are done. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and use the uh, sprint. I need a chocobo mount. I'm not even kidding. I need some kind of a mount. And chocobo mount will be amazing right about now. Anyway, what ends up what ends up happening is that you can bind several professions together to create one job, which creates this one class that has its own special unique things that it can do. Let's say I choose to become a monk. Monks are really, apparently, I looked up online, uh, they're apparently supposed to be extremely good at single target DPS, extremely good on boss fights. And she'd be just pretty much a powerhouse, pretty much like the ultimate fist fighter melee character ever. And I leveled up, look at that, look how wonderful that is. Internal release, that sounds kind of dirty. <laughs> Increase critical uh, hit chance by 10%, duration of 15, 15 seconds. Alright, let's go ahead and stick it over here. So we got a heal, we got a, I guess a defensive, uh, dodge, evasion, yeah we got evasion ability and we got a critical buffer us also right here i want to increase strength apparently uh monks need strength so i'm gonna go ahead and build up a little bit more into strength than dexterity i could go try to be a ninja which is uh 30 rogue 15 pugilist i believe but i don't really want to do that i want to main a pugilist i think a monk would be really cool and hey if i get the other professions leveled up to let's say like 50 or something i can still uh get the jobs to level the um I can still get the little gem jobs that uh, you can like equip, I believe, here, the soul crystals. And that's where the jobs go. We got like slots for 10 jobs. I think there are 10 jobs right now out there. Anyway, after we level all the professions, all the battle professions, we'll be able to switch in and out of the uh, the jobs. But I gotta also make sure that I have the proper gear for it. Because if I don't have the proper gear for it, it's not gonna be that effective. Yeah, so that's gonna be one dilemma. So I might actually be inspired to make more than one character if it becomes a trouble or hassle of magic a bunch of sets, you know? Because, like, being max level, switching from strength to full dexterity to, um, uh, I, I got a helping hand buff. XP earned through crafting is increased. I don't know how I did that. I somehow got a buff, I don't know how. But anyway, we'll be able to get a lot, a lot more job stuff taken care of as we go on throughout the story. Let's go ahead and accept the quest. Pray allow me to enlist your aid, brave adventurer. I would have you ascertain the whereabouts of uh, of a missile I sent to Lost Hope the other day. Captain Leofric is stationed there. Ever since he was transferred, we've exchanged letters, but never before has it taken this long to receive a reply. And so I fear that the courier may have met with some misfortune en route. Uh, she must have made it cert uh, central. She might. I gotta get in the mode of speaking again <laughs> and like reading the text. Uh, she must she must have made it to the central Thanalan or the brass blades that patrol the road between here and Scorpion Crossing would have seen something. But if she made it as far as Black Brush Station, she would have surely delivered this letter by now. Uh, Lost Hope is practically on its doorstep. I suggest you focus your search on the road to Black Brush Station in central Thanalan. With, with luck, you'll find her quickly. Wonderful. I don't know why it takes me kind of wild to kind of get warmed up to like reading the text. I guess it's a lot of text and I'm not really fully used to it. I really should do some warm-up exercise for this kind of stuff. <laughs> Let's go ahead and set another quest from Chechazon. Looking for a task to fill your evening adventure? I may have just the thing if you're not feeling squeamish. Here's the job. I need you to draw four bottles worth of blood from the, from the mongrels that roam the south of here. Once you have enough, take the four, uh, four fluid to a brass blade by the name of Nononzo. You should find him somewhere along the road on, in, of Horizon, bemoaning his terrible fortune, no doubt. Happy hunting. Wonderful. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> what do we got to do? We got a scent of mongrel, and uh, that's the uh, settlement. The eighty sins of the eighty sins of assassin man. Wow. That's. Let me just make sure I know exactly where I'm at. We could go to Central Thanalan for the main quest. We do have to go over here. Last letter to Lost Hope. 
uh or we could well actually let me look at the recommendation let me look at the duty it got rec recommendations i believe you can fly where's that at that's all the way somewhere out in western thailand that i've never been to i think i'll save that quest for later because i want to be able to level other professions as well you know so i can actually get the monk job uh i guess i should probably do scent of a mongrel scent of a mongrel is going to take me all the way here actually let me just go ahead and close this and look up at all the quests in the area Looks like I don't really have nothing, nothing over there at all, because that's like level 50, 35, 15, ho oh, ho, I can't do that yet, whatsoever. I could go down here and I guess try to do some, something with these jobs, I don't know. I probably should head over to Central Thailand, shouldn't I? Uh, do we have enough money? Yeah, you know what, I, I'm not going to use the money, I'm just going to use the Chocobo Keep over here, and see if we get a Choco Tax, uh, I guess a Chocobo Tax, a Choco Tax, I don't know what we call it. A Chocobo Porter, a Choco Porter? Yeah, Chocobo, a Choco Porter. Uh, to, not Ulda, that's not what I want to go. Why does it take me to Ulda? Uh, can I, really not? Alright, I guess we're running. Uh, let's, actually, you know what, how far away is it? Oh, wait, it's not that far. That's gonna be perfect fine. Just like here, down the road, across the water, and then we're there. But let's just go ahead and just sprint over there. So if the Choco Porter can't, uh, or, you know, I'm just gonna call with how it is, the Chocobo Porter. If the Chocobo Porter cannot offer us the, I guess, the needed thing for, you know, getting to the to the place that we need to, it does, if it doesn't have the destination for us, then I'm not gonna use it, because there's really no need to use it. Mm. But if it did, I would gladly use that. And teleportation, I don't want to just spend all my money on just teleportation. You know, we could probably fight all the dusty mongrels. I mean, they are here. We could probably do the quest with them. What, what level quest is this again? This is a level 11 quest. And could give us some pieces of armor that I will gladly take. That'd be actually really awesome. Let's go ahead and do it. And uh, the main quest offers us another piece of armor. That's awesome. Alright, sweet. Let's go ahead and just uh, get this done then. Uh, fighting some dusty mongrels where they're not going to pull each other together. Uh, come on. You, you see me, right? See me? Come on. Come on. There you go, there you go. Chase the cat, chase the cat, chase the cat. There you go, doggy, chase the cat. There we go. I love the fact that the uh, mobs actually pull by the direction that they're facing at. You know, you come, just come up, run to the face a little bit, and then run away, and then you get to fight them and actually like, follow you. That's actually really cool. I think that's a really cool mechanic. Come on, come on. You see me? There you go. Chase the kitty, chase the kitty. The kitty wants to play. There you go. There you go. That's how we do it. I uh, probably should have used the uh, snap punch. I had snap punch that available for myself, but didn't really look at the uh, <laughs> didn't really look at the hotkeys whenever I just got in, like, got in battle. I would just start off with the first one, the uh, boot shine, which is a weird ability. Kind of weird to call it boot shine. I guess it's like supposed to be like a fist to fist kind of like terminology. I don't know, like hand combat terminology or whatever. Maybe it's a reference to something. I don't even know. There we go. And I think we got everything that we needed. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and uh, come back. Let's see where we gotta go. We gotta actually. What do we? What do we go with this? Uh, Central Mongrels. Where's it gonna make us go? Oh, it's actually make us go to Central Thailand as well. Well, isn't that a coincidence? Is not a very comfortable coincidence. I will gladly go in that direction. <laughs> gladly. Well, no problem and no question. Some there's a fate under me somewhere. Yeah, this is like a fate called Doomed. I don't know why I even did that voice. <laughs> I just saw the fate named Doomed, so I was like, oh, I guess, uh, I guess it could be a very fun fate to, you know, activate or participate in. There's Nonozo. Nonozo. Wait, isn't that, weren't you back at the, uh, weren't you back at the settlement over here, the horizon? I'm pretty sure you were. Maybe not, I don't even know. <laughs> These guys have very complex names, I don't even know like uh, how to even dis differentiate uh, them, or even remember them by their names. Is this mongrel blood? Thank the gods, now I can finally head back to the horizon. Mongrels are the natural enemy of most other predators, you see. Throw their thick blood onto the fire and the resulting stench will send beast skin fleeing uh, for moms around. Makes light work for our patrols as long as we have a steady supply of the nasty stuff. And I'll wager you can guess which brass blade picked the short straw to kill mongrels this time around. I'm guessing he did. But thanks to you, I'm off to enjoy a hot meal and a tankard. May Thaw's golden halls await you in the afterlife. I'm guessing Thaw is like the deity, maybe? Some is something definitely that's like characterized to their, I guess, uh, people. What have you got? Did we get a belt? Oh, we got a belt. 